was or whipping up a mouth-watering weekend breakfast spread or preparing creative weeknights dinners, what better way to spend quality time with those you love than making memories in the kitchen? Here to share memory-inspired recipes and tips on entertaining and entering the famous Pillsbury Bake Off Contest is the 48th Pillsbury Bake Off Contest Grand Prize winner, Amy Nelson. Amy, what's cooking in your kitchen these days? Well, right now we're in the middle of summer, so we're enjoying a lot of stuff from our garden and our farm. So really, anytime we're cooking things that we grew, it's a really satisfying thing to thing for us to, to be doing together. Amy, how do you make sure you and your family have time during the busy school year? Well, we, we do make intentional time for each other. We, we definitely have dinner together almost every night. And that's a really special time for us. And we, we cook together, and, and then we just spend that time uh, consistently. And that's really important to us. How can we enter for a chance to share our family recipes? The 49th Pillsbury Bake Off is open for entries now until September 12th. And to get more information on that and all the judging criteria, the rules, the descriptions of the prize packages, just need to go to bakeoff.com and you can find out everything you need to know. Amy, what tips do you have for someone who wants to enter the Pillsbury Bake Off contest this year? Oh, that, that is just something I feel really, really encouraging about because I think it's something that anybody can do. They have multiple categories that can be entered. You know, if you're specialty is appetizers or desserts or um, dinners or breakfast, anything, anything that you feel is your particular specialty, you can enter any or all of those and just come up with an original recipe and you also need to get a story to go with it and that puts a few people off but I think that really because we're cooks and, and most people are very passionate about doing that there's something that got them to that place. So if they can just get in touch with the reasons that cooking is special to them or why this particular recipe is special to them and just work on getting that into a nice story. That's what Pillsbury's looking for. They're, they're looking to really highlight family and special memories that re revolve around food. And so they get that together and just, just be really encouraged that anybody can do it. I mean, I entered with, with fairly low expectations and it's turned out to be just a wonderful experience and I'm so happy that somebody else is going to be able to do that this year for the 49th. Amy, what made you decide to enter the contest? Well, primarily I really wanted to get a new kitchen because we live in a farmhouse that was built in the late 1800s and the kitchen is very dated so when I saw that that was part of the prize package I was really excited and I just told my husband I'm gonna go for this because I really want a new kitchen and so this year the the grand prize winner will get a check for fifty thousand dollars a suite of general electric appliances they'll get a trip to New York where they will be featured on the Food Network show The Kitchen and then they will also have their recipe featured in a 2019 edition of Food Network magazine and it's just a really great experience and I just really want to encourage everybody to just do it. I, I mean I think it's something that literally anybody can do. Amy could you tell us a little bit about your award-winning recipe? Sure it was called Bejeweled Cranberry Orange Rolls and I used the refrigerated orange rolls from Pillsbury and then I just made a cranberry filling for them that has some ginger, pineapple, um, the whole cranberries that were cooked down, put some ginger ale in it and toasted walnuts and just cook that down until it kind of turns into almost like a cranberry sauce and then put that in the orange rolls and cooked them and it's just a really nice contrast with the, the sharpness and the tanginess of the cranberries go really well with the, the sweet orange rolls and it's a really nice combination obviously it's worked out really well for me. Amy I'd like to thank you for talking with us this morning. Have a great day. Thank you so much. You're welcome.